Whoa. Bloody hell, that was uh, that's quite intense. The world's biggest tag I've got a sweat on. Yeah. Got, a, ride got a ride sweat on. Hello and welcome to London again. We're at um, Babylon Park today in Camden. Just want to say Camden was absolutely uh, mental. It's vibrant, isn't it? It's mad, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, it's lovely. Brilliant place, Camden. Yeah, this is an indoor theme park. One of the UK's only indoor theme parks. It has a little roller coaster and some other little bits and bobs. Yeah, so this is quite unique. It's in Camden, only a short walk away from the underground station. Um, brilliant for the UK. We haven't got enough indoor attractions. And here it is. And here we are, son. Babylon Park. There we go. Easy to get to. Isn't really it? easy. Looking forward to this, mate. Yeah. Five you? minutes up the road. It was a it's a kids' park, station. but it's unique, and I think it's worth covering. Yeah. Definitely, especially if the weather is bad. It's something very, very unique. Yeah, it's a massive indoor arcade and amusement park. Here we go, Babylon Park. I'll get you in and show you what it's all about. I've never been, so it's my first time. Same here. It is run on like a credit system, so we'll explain all about that. Hi. Wow, I love the entrance. Yeah, you go downstairs. This is brilliant. So vibrant, all the colours. Yeah, I've always wanted to come here. I've seen a few other channels cover it. And it looks so unique. I just love the, the way it's indoors. Yeah. You know what the weather's like in this country. I've moaned about it enough. <laughs> um, so storm. something like this is absolutely perfect. Wow, oh, look at yeah. this. All modern. Yeah, so it's so unique. I know when they first opened, a lot of people were moaning about the price. It was quite expensive, but I think they've, um, they've corrected it. I think they've lowered their prices for the rides now, which is really good to see. They are taking in feedback. Obviously, it's a brand new concept here in the UK. So, And it's nice to see something like this in central London. Yeah. And Camden is a busy place. Yeah, it's vibrant. Luckily, it's, it's quite quiet at the moment. Yeah. But I can imagine it gets absolutely rammed in oh, it. Oh, yeah, you can imagine. Yeah, it's got two levels. Obviously, you've got a cafe here as well where you can get food and drink. Um, I'm just going to look out this window, get a really good view of the roller coaster. That is the main attraction here. Yeah, you've got this stunning roller coaster that goes throughout. Obviously, these are dotted everywhere where you get your, um, I think they're done on game coins, are they? I don't really understand the, uh... yeah, I don't understand any of this. Yeah, I love all the little quirky aliens dotted around. Just attention to detail with the Theban. I love that. And I've got some more just over there. So we will go down now, show you around. So we'll try and get on a couple of rides. I think it is aimed at uh, the younger audience, the families, but there is a few rides we can do. I know there's a set of dodgings here and stuff like that. But first impressions are great. It just looks so modern and fresh. Everything's so modern. Got the winner's station there, you know, where you win um, tickets from arcade machines and pick prizes. That is amazing. Everything is really well finished off. Yeah, me and Aaron are probably not the target audience for this place, but there's definitely nothing wrong with coming in and having a look, though. Is that an SPF visa? Yeah, I think it is an SPF visa, I'm pretty sure. There you go again. That is cool, isn't it? It's a plus one, mate. Yeah. If you collect your credits. <laughs> there we go. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Definitely the main attraction here. But I love it. Love all the little quirky rides and games. You've got like a modern take on a hooker duck here as well. Obviously, you've got your traditional grabber machines. Aaron, hook a duck. 
Okay. Yeah, there's a drop tower literally right in smack bang in the middle of the coaster track. So you've got this um, beautiful little junior drop tower. Look at all the lights. That's amazing. Yeah, that's an SPF visa as well. Not the biggest, but pretty cool. I love the way it sits right in, in the middle of the uh, coaster track as well. It's got a stunning lighting package. Everything has got a stunning lighting package in here. I remember the element, Aaron. <laughs> but it's just beautiful. Yeah, plenty of uh, juvenile rides. Like I said, it is. It's mainly aimed at the uh, the family market and the kids, but there is there is adults riding. I think adults are allowed to ride. Yeah. But we need to try and work out this ticket system. <laughs> yeah, it's quite confusing. Yeah. It's not done with tokens. It's like tickets, and yeah. I think it's quite pricey still. But we are in Camden. This is going to be five tokens a ride. Uh, yeah, I don't understand <laughs> the, the, the ticketing system, but once they explain it to us, I'm sure we'll be all right. But yeah, look at the dodgems. Skiddy Dodgems here. It's like in a circle track. That's pretty unique as well, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely take you on them. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a great concept and hopefully something, hopefully this is something others can do in the UK. Hopefully people have seen this and uh, they can expand and may maybe make a bigger one, you know, with some proper um, big rides in it. But for what this is, I think it's really good. They've utilised the space really well. Look how, look how close you get to the, uh, the track here. Track. You can almost <laughs> touch it, can't you? Yeah, and then you've got all your, your arcade machines as well. So it is a, it's a proper arcade with funfair rides, basically. Yeah. It is dubbed as an indoor theme park, and that's because of the roller coaster. You have a junior tag over here. You've got this little thing which is on a track. The world's largest tag over there. Yeah, we're going to have a look at that. Again, I don't know how many tokens it is. Does it say? It doesn't say anything. Yeah, we're gonna have to ask someone to explain the token system because it is quite confusing. It's not the simplest of systems. It's okay for it. It's fun, uh. Yeah, right, so yeah, the rides basically run on game coins. So you, yeah. you buy it here, you get bundles of deals and stuff. You get your card and you can always top up if you need more. Yes, you don't. So yeah, the, the rides are done like on so many game coins. It is a bit of a, a weird system, but we're going to go for the £25 bundle. I think you have to pay a pound for the card as well. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we had to get someone to come over and explain it. It's not easy, is it? It's a bit confusing. It is a bit confusing. Only because we're new here. Only because we're stupid. But yeah, I think I've got the hang of it now. Yeah. So we're going to share the card, yeah? Yeah, share the card. And it gives you um, a few tokens to go on the arcade. Yeah, machines. yeah. There it is. They do all different bundles and stuff. So this is this is what this is what you get. So that's your card, and like I said, it's a contactless card. You pay a pound for this, and you can just top up as you go, tap to a ride, and then it deducts the uh, your game coins. So yeah, confusing system, but I think once we get the hang of it, we should be alright. Put the floor in. I love this. Right, we are going to go on the roller coaster first. Again, I don't know how many. Um, game coins it is. Oh, you can check your balance as well on these things. So yeah, the SBF Visa roller coaster. I can imagine it getting quite busy. I've got to be honest, when I first saw this last year, I didn't think they would survive with the prices they were charging, but they're still here and they're doing well. So obviously people have the money in London. Like that. <laughs> Done? Oh, Brilliant. Can we sit on the back one? You sit in the front one. Sit. Yeah, so here you go, Aaron. Got a seatbelt system as well. <laughs> oh, big, nice big cars. Yeah, here we go. Shameful cred. It's quite unique, so we've got to ride, haven't we? I love the drop tower as well, straight in the middle. I'll definitely do the drop tower, maybe the Tagada and the Dodgem. So it is pricey, but you know. Is what it is. You pay London prices, don't you? Well, Aaron's just got to sit in a different seat. They are quite spacious cars, to be fair. Yeah, we're hoping to uh, get to play a little mini golf today as well, plus go to Blackheath. So we're, we're in for a bit of adventure today in London. Because we, you know, we're so early into London, I'd like to get the early train into London because it gets absolutely rammed. So we thought we'd come this place. It opens at 10 a.m. nice and early. I think it opens through until maybe 10 p.m. So it's great opening hours here. Aaron, spited. Aaron unfortunately didn't fit, which is a shame, but uh, 
I'm going to get the plus one. <laughs> Literally no shame in me. We have a dispatch. Here we go. Give Aaron a little wave. All right, Mush. <laughs> yeah, again, something completely different on the channel. Um, it's all about variety, and that's what I've been trying to do lately, just variety. Oh, here we go. I've seen this place quite a lot on TikTok as well. Here we go, we've got a lift hill. It's so cool doing it indoors. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oh. That's actually quite good. And I think you get a few laps as well from what I've seen. Here we go, baby. Nothing like a shameful cred. <laughs> hey. oh. Oh. Yeah, let me know if you've been before, if you've got this cred. Let me know in the comments. Three lap special. Tell you what, it's better than a caterpillar. I do think this is the future of uh, theme parks indoors, out the elements, absolutely perfect. Whoa! Oh, you get a little pop of air time there. I'm not even exaggerating. So that's a three lap special. I couldn't even tell you the price of it, to be honest. I don't know. Are we going again? Four laps. So we do get, you know, you get four laps at least. Yeah, like I said, it's done in done in game coins, so I don't know what that works out price-wise. I have no idea. The system's really confused me. Saying that, it doesn't take a lot to confuse me. <laughs> Guessing it's like four or five quid a ride, which is pricey, but premium prices, premium place. we go then that was the uh, the little coaster I have no idea what it's called I've come into this completely uh, unprepared literally I've arrived in London early and we just thought sod it we'll come here I've done no homework on the place really <laughs> but no Aaron that was really good how was it for you it's the knees you know it your knees same as Andy when he had, he had problems with the bar coming yeah down. so it, I think it's uh, built for little ones yeah not for me <laughs> but that was cool got four laps on there like I said I don't generally know the price of it. I'm guessing it was four or five pounds, something like that. That's the best lighting package I've ever seen. That puts some funfair riders to shame, that. That's got the best lighting package ever, man. That is so good, so vibrant. Wow. <laughs> not a bulb out, not a bulb out. <laughs> Obviously, because it's indoors as well, it's away from the elements, so things are going to last longer oh, yeah. and they're going to look better in general. They're not weathered. Yeah. And I like that. It's always kept immaculate, isn't it? Really is, mate. I love the uh, lights on that drop tower. I'm like a moth to a flame. I just can't <laughs> so stop staring at it. It's yeah. brilliant, isn't it? hope it's coming out right on camera. But this is the next ride again. I don't have a clue how much it is. <laughs> We're just winging it. Just tap and go, baby. Another one where you just tap and go, tap and go. Yeah, so I won't ride everything. I'll probably do, I do want to do the dodgems. I want to give them a go. And uh, the little tag of it, I'll, 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 I don't know, I'll probably leave it. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm a, I'm a massive kid, aren't I? I'm a huge kid, man. You know what I'm like. I'm a, I'm a huge kid. Yeah, but I do like this place. Just unique, very unique. 4800 gig shot. 
gig shot. Yeah, I think because um, it's quiet, they are operating a few rides, so they've gone to operate one of the little juveniles now. So I've got a, a wait for me turn on this one. Look at the lights! Look at the lights, Aaron. Blinded by the lights. Bloody hell! Bright, isn't it? <laughs> it is bright. Any sunglasses in here? Aaron, I'm in. My bum fits in the seat, so I can ride it. And the coaster's going well. That'd be a good shot. The coaster going round. Yes, thank you. Here we go then on the little drop tower. It's one of the ones that spin as well, which is pretty cool. Here we go. Look at that for a shot. Whoa! Actually, it's got some, uh, it's got some power to it. <laughs> it's actually pretty good, I've got to be honest. I'm really liking it here. Right up my street. Nothing to make me feel sick. And lots of lots of lots of pretty lights. Way here we go. I love the way it's in the coaster track. I know I've said that before, but look at that. What a charming little place. I love it. Yeah, I don't know how much this was again. It's a common theme here. I'm just tapping. You know I'm like, with me you don't get hardcore facts, I just wing it. I think that's what you like about the channel. <laughs> Whee! Getting a long cycle though. Oh. I do want to play some games as well. They've got this um, tomahawk throwing game that looks absolutely brilliant right up my street. So sorry for Aaron though, obviously, because they are designed for kids. He's not going to fit on anything here, which is a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is, isn't it? Whee! All right, Mush. <laughs> I'm loving it, Aaron. I'm the biggest kid going. There we go. Brilliant fun that. Loved it. Loved it. Good two and a half minutes on there. Space fiend hook a duck. <laughs> just love it. It's like a modern take on a fun fair, isn't it? But look, I just like literally when I was on the drop tower, this caught my eye again because of the lighting package. I think it's an SPF visa. I think that's everything here is SPF visa. It's like they've got a package deal or something. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. I love the lights. I'm not even sure how much I left. I got on my card. You can tap to check the balance. Um, yeah, this is the only thing, I'm, it's all right, I just wish it was simple, like, yeah, I just wish the rides could be like four credits, then you load this with like 10 credits, like a credit system, I just think it'd be so much easier. The game coins that I find quite confusing, I know I'm not alone in that. Um, a lot of people have actually commented about the pricing system and the game coin system. A little bit confusing, but you know, it is what it is, isn't it? I just think the whole space theme's really charming and works. You can literally stand there and get some beautiful views of the coaster going around though. Yeah, it's definitely the best arcade I've ever been in. I've never been in anything like this before. This is another level. It's amazing. The best arcade I've ever done.
Yeah, you've got to use your card for going to the toilet. I don't think they charge you anymore. Okay. I think it is free, but you do need your card to access the toilet. They used to charge you a quid to get in. Bloody yeah, but I think they scrapped that, luckily enough. Like I said, it is a new concept, so they, they will make mistakes and they will learn from them. And they are striving for improvement, and I think that's really good. You can really get up close and personal as well to the rides. I love that. If you're a geek like me and like to get the uh, the best angle shots, here's perfect. You can literally stand right under the track. Um, like here, literally. I can even hear the motor buzzing. You get so close to it. I love that. Yeah, I just want to say as well, this, the staff are amazing. The security is a, a lovely bloke. Had a really nice chat with the security guy at the door. They embrace filming here, they love it. You know, there's none of this can't film nonsense. It's, uh, yeah, they, they're really welcoming and they're like, they really encourage you to, to take photos and videos. End of the day, it is promotion for them. So I love places that really do just embrace when you come in with a camera. You know, they asked what the channel was, they got it up and subscribed. I just love that, I think it's great. Nice little track ride here as well. It's definitely good if you want to kill a few hours here. Definitely, definitely recommend it. And obviously Camden is a very busy place. There's loads to do here. So you could definitely spend a day in Camden. This is something I definitely want to do as well. These uh, skiddy dodgems, they are literally skiddy dodgems. They look really difficult to drive from what I've seen. Look at the way you can just uh, Tokyo drift that thing. Looks fantastic. I love it. I love the concept of it. Again, it's powered off the floor. They look absolutely brutal. So we'll get Aaron on there. He's literally drifting sideways. That's brilliant. Common theme here. God, he's doing donuts. I'll be thrown up at this point. Um, common theme is uh, the lighting packages. Just consistent throughout. Brilliant. Yeah, this is the thing I wanted to, uh, to have a go on. Like real axe throwing. So this is... What, 1,600 game coins. You got your, your rubber axes there. Never seen this before. So do you scan here, Aaron? We'll have a go at this, mate. If we've got enough left. I don't have, I don't have a clue what we're spending. That's the only thing. So you scan that. There we go. You pick these up, your rubber axes, and you log them at the targets like this. Whee, go on, Aaron. Good oh. shot, bullseye, would it? There we go. Then they come back on this little conveyor belt. Wait for the target to clear. Wait for the target to clear. There you go, look, it pushes them out. Wait for the target to clear. Down one. Go on, Aaron. On there you go. Lob it. Good shot, right, I'll have a go. I've got to do this with my, I'm left-handed, I've got to use my right because I'm used, holding my camera. That's my excuse. Whoops. <laughs> Ready? Way, that was all right, that was all right. Yes. Oh, I love that, brilliant. Wait for the target to clear. Have a go. Another go, Wait son. Wait for the target to clear. Wait for the target to clear. This is so unique, I've never seen one of these before. Have you? This is brilliant, isn't it? Aaron's turn. Oh, lovely. I'm going for a right. I'm going to use my left hand. I'm going to use my strong. Yeah, I'm going to use my strong hand. You watch this. I'll, st I'll still mess it up. I like that. All right. You I'm, throw it like a girl. Mush. I'm concentrating on videoing. <laughs> I'm not very good at things in life, am I? Nah. Crap at golf. Right, that was brilliant fun. Really enjoyed it. Here we go then on the little junior tag of the ride. I think that's what it's called. It's actually quite a big drum. Here we go. See if we've got seat belts on it, this one. Oh, it's quite big actually, isn't it? It's all right, isn't it? We want you on the floor, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> I reckon it packs quite a bunch, you know. Look at the lighting package. 
Yeah, I don't know what to expect. <laughs> oh, oh Christ. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah. That's quick. Jesus, that is fast. Not very bouncy, but it's, this. it's fast, <laughs> isn't it? Whoa. Oh my God. Aaron, I feel sick. I feel sick. <laughs> oh. Look to the side though. Oh, I can't. Tell you what though, that's quite quick. I've got a big giddy. Oh my God. Don't underestimate this rider. <laughs> oh my God. It's lovely, isn't it? It's so unique. I've never seen one of these. Everything just flashing past my eyes. Yeah. All the lights just blurring into each other. Yeah. I'm gonna have to bring Libby back here. Yeah. I think she'll like it. This is ideal for like Libby. Oh, I've had enough. I feel ill. No sickness type of Black heat. I'm not, I can't go to black heat now. <laughs> I'm done in, mate. I'm, at, <laughs> I, I'm honestly done in. Oh my god. It's gonna be game over. Look how cycle as well, Oh, it's gonna be game over when a kid's tagging her. Get me up this way. <laughs> Bloody hell. All right, enough's enough. I'm so dizzy now, but I am honestly dizzy. Whoa. But yeah, that was, uh, that's quite intense. The world's biggest tag I've got a sweat on. <laughs> got a ride sweat. Got a ride sweat on. I actually enjoyed that. <laughs> that's one of those rides that is worse than it looks. Thank you. Yeah, definitely don't underestimate this, uh, Junior Tagada. It's evil. Yeah, I just love how fresh and everything is, how modern. They do have all the, the modern games. I think it's the geek inside me. Just, just, I just love anything colourful and uh, flashing. Flashing lights. I love this massive Pac-Man game as well here. Look at that. What a wonderful little place. Here, Almost it? a hidden gem, isn't it? it is yeah. Imagine something like this on a bigger scale with like proper, yeah. proper upside down coasters yeah. and stuff like that. It could be chucking it down the brain outside yeah. and you could be just well, I was talking to the security when you went to the loo oh, right. and he was saying probably about midday, yeah. really gets busy yeah. in here. Oh, really? Really picks up. Yeah. I think it's good value for central London. I don't know what we spent, but we've, we've put 25, 25 on between us. We've done a few rides. You've done three rides. And some arcade machines. So. Yeah. It's not as bad. I think they have lowered the prices. Yeah. I know when they first opened, people were kicking off because it yeah. was really expensive. It was like <laughs> seven pounds for a roller coaster. Oh really? So and I think. How to use the toilet? Yeah, but they they scrapped that. Scrapped they've that. done away with that. And I think the way they've got it set up now, and I love these it's, it's, wor it's yeah, working, isn't it? As well. Yeah. Brilliant. A modern take on all your funfair classics, really. Yeah. But no, not it's the great. longest vlog in the world, but. Show you what's here. Show you what's here, and if you are in the area, come down. Obviously, I'll link the website in the description. There we go, air hockey time. I'm not going to film it, I'm going to concentrate. I want my revenge, you beat me last time, so. Uh, Morning, son. Here we go, son. Right, I'm going to try and do it one handed here. I'm losing it at the moment. Oh, I'm caught. I'm trying to do it one handed. Do you know how hard this is with one hand, Aaron? Always excuses, isn't it? Yay, go! Yes, about a couple of hours in, I've really enjoyed it. Fell ill from the tagada. Uh, apart from that, I'm all right. Look at this on the floor. Yeah, really impressed this little place. You don't realize how big it is. It's underground, literally, easy to find just off Candom Lock definitely gets my highest recommendation. It's great. Great, this is. It's really good here. All weathers. Yeah, I've had a really good time here. Hey, mate. 
Babylon Park here in Camden. The UK's only indoor theme park. And a new ground's been covered. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Something completely different. I'm glad I covered it here. So that was um, Babylon Park here in Camden, yeah. Great experience. Easy to find, didn't it? Yeah. Enjoy that? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, there, there's the uh, Camden look up there. Yeah. It's just literally right Stage here. Throw from train station. Right, back to checking this vlog out. Like, comment, subscribe. Come back for the next one. We are literally heading straight up there to do some crazy golf. I know you'll all be pleased to hear that. <laughs> I love it. See you in a bit, Bush. Let's get on it. Cheers, Bruce. Ah, oh. uh, high five. Oh, come on. Snap the camera. Yeah, woo! Welcome back to another crazy golf, crazy vlog. The golf cart, then, English. Yay! Another one. Away, golf. An another golf vlog. I know everyone loves it. Rammed in here, though. Here we go! Let's go, let's go.